I'm Taylor Clark, pitcher for the Kansas City Royals. I started playing baseball when I was about three, four. I had a couple older brothers, um, and dad kind of introduced it to us all, and we just grew up playing with each other, and it just grew from there. So I was born with uh, right side facial paralysis. It's a very rare, but they think it developed as I was coming through the birth canal. The pressure of my mom's tailbone like crushed my face and actually broke her tailbone on the way out. And so they think that's why like it just never fully developed. There was a lot of like teasing and stuff like that that was kind of tough and I would lash out from it. Everyone's got their uh, things that make them different. Mine's just a little more obvious. I mean, even to this day, I still fight with it and I still struggle. I don't think I would be where I am today without it. Being in the big leagues, pitching in the big leagues was always my vision growing up. You kind of always like, you had that dream, but you never really like, it never really became tangible until I started like, probably college ball, I'd say. I kind of started really seeing like tangible and I was like, hey, maybe I can do this long term. Um, that's why I pitched pretty well my freshman year. I ended up hurting my elbow at the end of that year. That was the end of the 2012 season. I was pitching, had a pretty good year, got hurt towards the end of the year, hurt my elbow. Um, never really got better, I had to get surgery, which uh, commonly referred to as Tommy John surgery. So I kind of like rest and rehabbed it. I came all the way back. And then meanwhile, they announced they were chopping the program or cutting it. After that season, there was gonna be no more baseball at that school. Meanwhile, I was on the sidelines the whole time. I couldn't do anything. I was just watching everyone. And they eventually cut it the spring of 2013, which gave me a free uh, release to transfer wherever. I had a red shirt a whole year, so I sat out a whole year of college, kind of just sitting on the sidelines watching. Yeah, it was it was one of those moments where it's like, crap, like stuff's hitting the fan. I don't know where I'm gonna be at. Like maybe my baseball career is done. I'm coming back from surgery. I don't have a school to transfer to. Like who's gonna want damaged goods? And I fortunately, like I pitched well enough, like my freshman year that I could carry some of that like tape over and show that to like other colleges that I was trying to transfer to. It was a good learning experience to really never take it for granted stepping out on the field. Yeah, I first met Bailey uh, in about 2013 at College of Charleston. He was a freshman coming in, I was a transfer. And that was right when I was coming back from my surgery too. I was like six months out. And um, he was kind of hurt at the time too, so we kind of like shared that similarity. Things that I'm proud about him doing is just overcoming all the stuff that he's had to grow up with, um, obviously. And just the relationship just really started like growing and we became like really good friends. Be able to come out the other side and be the bigger person in the situations if someone was making fun of them. Um, yeah, Bailey's always helped like, there wasn't one specific moment that I really like sticks out to me, but I just remember like, it's just the day in, day out, like always kind of being there. Even if I, I go out and have a bad outing, he'd pick me up like, hey, you're good. You will would have bounced back. It's just, you gotta, there's a lot of ups and downs and you just kind of gotta ride the wave the whole time, I mean. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's probably one of his biggest strengths is what differentiates from other players is that the adversity that he's had to grow, go through. Um, when you do hit a wall, kind of how you respond from it and how you overcome hurdles, um, that was the toughest thing I had to learn to kind of get over. Dealing with the facial paralysis and having Tommy John when he was in college. Ultimately, it's made him stronger and he he knows that he's capable of achieving anything he puts his mind to. He's brilliant, he's super smart, um, and if he knows that he's gonna put in the work, he's gonna achieve what he wants to do. Just take what I was, in the hand that I was dealt and make it as positive as I can and show people that like, hey, maybe if you are a little different, or whatever, it's okay. As long as you're comfortable in your own skin and you know who you are, that's all that kind of matters. So just keep the vision like going up, never settling. Um, just always looking ahead. You can't have the you can't have the highs without the lows. Be able to overcome all that, and you just keep driving yourself and pushing yourself. Um, yeah, just trust the process. Trust trust each day. Now, when I'm on the mound, it's I mean it's go time. You're locked in.
the overall goal if you can go out there every day and be brave in everything that you do. 